What's up guys? Welcome back to 3G Video. I have Caleb here and we are heading to our second drag and drive event of the season, which is Carolina Drag Cruise. We're actually taking his truck because Benny, if you saw in the last video, didn't exactly work out. Had some issues with him. We will be back on that project soon, but it's going to be a good drive. We're leaving at night, trying to make some miles tonight, then we'll be hitting up the event in the morning. <laughs> to tell you check out this whip this is what we're rocking for the event this is caleb's truck cammed this thing sounds good crazy view though okay guys good morning and welcome to the tail of the dragon because we decided to stop here on our way caleb had never got to drive it so he's taking his truck up on the tail uh on our way to caroline drag cruise had a little tiny bit extra time not a lot but we're just gonna run up it <laughs> run up it and uh see as much as we can um, in the short time that we have so he's enjoying the truck out on the tail for the first time we got some other cars running around too so having fun We made it to the top of the tail. How was it? It was fun. It was fun. He'd tell me to slow down every time. It I didn't it. say it. <laughs> I just kidding. I'd give it a hard time. Give him a hard time. Man. No, it was fun. Truck didn't like the turns though. Rubbing. You know, rubbing. Well, you know that lowered yeah. life. It's okay. So, uh, well, we got to get you. Yeah. We got to get some things sorted for you to like take some corners pretty quick. But ooh, there's Porsche coming in. Hey, finally got a ooh. car. Ooh. That's cool. Oh. Oh, we saw those guys up at the uh, oh, yeah, turnaround yeah. too. I love being up here. Like even on off days, like this is a complete like middle of the week. It's cold out. Like there's rain, but we still got cool cars up here. Good. I'm glad that you're having a good experience up in the mountains. Yeah, so. definitely, definitely. I'm awesome. glad we got to come. Cool. Well, we have a race to get to, so I think we're gonna head down the mountain, get to Shady Side for the first day of Carolina Drag Cruise. Uh, I love, I love that event. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Glad to to share exactly. this with Caleb. So uh, let's get on the road again and we will catch up with you guys in Shadyside, North Carolina. <laughs> rolling into the track got the generator out we've got a little different setup than uh, we we're used to with the volvo we're here with stacy and all the guys down here in north carolina with the fords kind of massive group they got their toter home we're actually gonna be able to stay at the track which is gonna be awesome we're gonna be hanging out with these guys all week got a whole group and we just saw adam roll in he's got something crazy on the car let's go man it's the greens what's up repping the massive 3g video sticker on the back window What's up? Thanks, Thanks bud. Good Appreciate it. That's sick. That's sick. Trip down go good? Yeah. Awesome. You? Not bad. Not bad. Minus we had to do something. Issues. Yeah, minus not driving my car. We're, other than that, we're great. <laughs> it's weird. You drive something that's proven, it's a lot easier. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, well, I'll let you guys get unloaded. We'll catch up with you a little bit in a minute. Some more of our friends rolling in. Well, that's cool. Uh, this is not a normal site that we have uh, at some of the Dragon Drives. I'm excited to see the Nissan out here. Can you tell me a little bit about the build and tell us who you are? Yeah, uh, Tyler. Uh, this is my 1990 Nissan Skyline GTR. It's uh, pretty much fully built. It's a PPG 5-speed five, five dog box and then a 2.8 liter stroker. Just a little turbo. You want to you want to give me a little information on that, or okay, yeah. I feel like when you say just a little turbo, you're kind of being a little modest on the uh, size of this thing. Yeah, just little, dinky, 
you know, minor size. So how, how big is our Garrett here? It's a G42 1450. That's so solid. 79 mil. Nice. So how much power do you think this thing's making? It makes 950 on 35 PSI, and uh, if I turn it up to 45, it's about 1200. Okay. So what? Uh, what's your best eighth mile times you've been running? Never been on a track before. Okay. Okay. Cool. So this will be the first time. That That is exciting. So first time at a drag and drive, first time at a race or at a drag strip, just do it, having street cars and such. That's awesome. And you said you were stationed in Hawaii. So this car has come all the way across from Hawaii. Did you buy it in Hawaii? or? Not in Hawaii. Oh man, that is so cool. Dude, that's awesome. I love the story. Thank you for talking with me. Uh, we'll definitely catch up with you throughout the week. So be looking for us. We'll be out and around. So awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. And it really feels like we're starting the season off. We're actually getting to see friends. We're hanging out. This is awesome. Oh, I miss it. We did a little bit, obviously, in sick week, but we've had a couple months since then. It's nice to get back in the element, you know? Oh, so nice. And down to the registration tent. Look at that. There's a jet car. So we're going to see them run a little bit later. They actually made a pass already, and uh, I was not expecting a jet car to be here. So we were ready to film it. So we're going to see that in just a minute. Carolina Drag Coops is getting underway, though. I'm so excited. That's definitely one way to start off with Carolina Drag Cruise. Um, they do uh, things while other events are going on, so we get to race while there's other things. So we're gonna see stuff. Uh, that That's definitely first here, Shady Side, for me at least. That's crazy. All right, so with the jet car going, we're getting into our guys racing. Last year, we had like 20 cars at the spring event, which was the last one that I was at for the Carolina Drag Cruise. We have apparently 50 that got signed up, and we got a couple of them up here. Now let's see them run. Radio cars down here in the south, just like this Mustang. I have a feeling this thing ain't gonna be slow. Trey's gonna get it figured out. First time on a track ever, so definitely some bugs to figure out, but that's all right. The thing is awesome. Glad they're out here. Issues. Hopefully they can keep that streak up this week as she goes down to a 750. This truck at the street meet uh, last fall, I think, believe it was their first event with the truck. Uh, Good to see them back. Uh, excited to watch them throughout the week. I love this truck with the uh, chain bump. 
bumper. Man, this thing's wild. There's so many little things across it that you'll find. As they take off for their first pass, the Carolina Drag Cruise 2024. It goes down to an 831. This is 8th mile, just if you guys did not realize that. This is 8th mile racing all week at the uh, different tracks here in the Carolinas. Part of our trip thing. This is such a cool truck. Fender Exit Exhaust. Turbo LS, I believe. I'm not going to say that exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Well, we have the backup car. Uh, last year, you'll note he had the Maverick. Um, he picked this car up, has had it for a long time, and now uh, decided to get it running because the Maverick's under the weather. You saw that at Sick Week has some issues. They actually broke the damper that had the pulley for the, that drove the supercharger. It broke off the crankshaft. They've been fixed that engine, haven't got it back in time. So kind of forced him to get this thing ready. Car that he's had for a long time and just now getting to drive it. So we have the Ranger, the old school Ranger, and we have our Chevelle here in the right lane. A good pairing of old muscle. I love it. Chevelle was all over the place. They tried to figure something out. He definitely dropped something out of the car. I think that's why he was having some traction issues. The track's gonna be down for just a second. I'm sure the track crew's gonna do a great job getting this cleaned up as always. We'll get back to some racing. Oh, I love me a good old Mopar. Exactly as fast as I was anticipating, open, but still good pass there in the 939. Hello, we've seen these guys before out at the Street Need event. Some good fireballs out of the Camaro. Going down to a 646. Nice. I believe that's like a cleaning up that right lane that had some issues so we'll be down familiar face back here in the staging lanes you're saying you made some changes to the car yeah so. yeah so we ended up going from a top end to uh an entire motor the cam was a little bit seized up cam bearings weren't in exactly square we don't we think yeah um either that or it spun one a little bit so we went from uh cam and heads to all motor <laughs> so this will be the first pass with that motor and this transmission and converter. Awesome, so with everything being new, what are you predicting that it's making power-wise? Do you have any idea or? Somewhere, modestly, somewhere around 350-ish. Okay. I mean, it's still a uh, still iron-headed motor. Oh. It's just been ported a little bit. Yeah, it works, hey, that's awesome. A little bit of a cam, awesome. so. What, what pass would you be happy with tonight? Um, so, I don't have a good intake on it. I have a, it's an Explorer intake, which flows better than a, Fox body intake. So that's my bottleneck right now. Okay. So we're, I'd be happy in die your own if I could print 890s. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, good luck and we'll Thank see you thanks. up there. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see if we can put down that 890 that he was talking about, wanting to print numbers. First pass on this car. Oh, uh, well, this combination of this car. Really hope it goes well for him. Puts a lot of hard work into this thing. Nine 
38 and a 998. So a little slow for the pace they're hoping for. But first pass, not bad. He got down there. Hopefully they will uh, just keep improving on that and have some fun this week. As we have one of our trucks that was at Sick Week, Drag Week, it is a veteran truck for sure. That thing is super sick. Unfortunately, they're having some issues. Got to back them out uh, after he tried to do a burnout. We have a Nova behind him, though. Looks like he's coming back from a couple of the same events. Long time veteran. So excited. So cool to see veterans and new people alike coming up to these regional events. All right, so we have a backup car. If you remember last year at this event, we had an orange Fox body, beautiful orange Fox body. Well, this is the same driver. This is his backup car. They were having some issues. He's still out here. Mustang here in the near lane. Nice. All right, guys. Well, this is an interesting pair. The minivan is unfortunately not part of our group. I thought that would have been fantastic. But it's cool to see him out here at the test and tune, having some fun along with our Corvette in the far lane. That thing is sick. Oh, minivan, help! Minivan almost had a bad stop. Sixty-eight and a nine ninety-eight. Corvette goes down to an eight forty-seven. That thing's sick. Couple of our truck gang out here. I love seeing these guys come back to multiple, multiple events and have so much fun that they just want to keep doing it. That's what this stuff's all about, man. We have so many guys and gals that come out here and love this sport so much and just do it um, at the regional events, bigger events, and just have so much fun. So if you guys are thinking about doing it, absolutely come out and hang out with us. Uh, but we're going to see a couple of our trucks get down here at Shady Side. to a 754 and we have a 798 for the c10 over here in the left lane nice it's cold out here man yeah it is okay guys we've been getting some racing and it's been going crazy the jet car is making one last pass here at night under the lights this is gonna be sick The crowd is just, they're all standing watching. That's awesome. Hey right, guys, talking about stuff that's wild. There's a Grom with a stretch swing arm and a bottle of nitrous on it. Let's go see it. Minnesota is now uh, down here in the Carolinas. He's getting used to the area. Pretty cool to have him out here and have a convertible Chevy too. That's pretty sick. That thing's not slow either. Okay, guys, we have our six-foot Mustang. And we have the tow rig for the guys that have the Nissan GTR. The GTR actually broke a drive axle in the front and they were not able to get parts to fix it. So they didn't turn in their time slip yet. So that means they can swap vehicles, make a pass, and they are still in competition with a different vehicle, their tow rig. So that's pretty fantastic. Push back 
back out of the beam earlier. Glad they got this thing fixed. Let's see him make a good pass right here. You can see the name right there on the eyebrow. We'll explain that another time when we talk to Stacy about the car. But this thing. There's a wastegate um, down on the bottom that is in front of the front tire, and they think that that's what their issue is with the staging light or with staging it. That it's flickering the top bulb and it's giving them a red light. Um, as if that like, he already left or there's something wrong in the timing. So they've been struggling with that. They're gonna really deep stage this time. He's up lanes, gonna deep stage it like far. And we're gonna see if he can get that pass down where it should be. That 740 is as fast as fast for you. not showing the time up on the boards in this right lane it hasn't been here recently but that looked a lot better okay so it is the next morning i caught up with stacy he said that it was his fastest pass in the car however it's still a little slow for what they're looking for uh they got only on five pounds of boost it's a fresh fresh build we'll have to get catch up with him in either tomorrow's video or one of the next ones we'll catch up with him to get some more information on that thing so be looking forward to that in a future video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see all of that we're gonna be following carolina drag cruise and many many more dragon drives throughout this season and other events crazy things we're following cool cars it's gonna be great so make sure you guys subscribe hit a like on this video if you enjoyed it thank you guys for being here for all those of you made it to the end you guys are fantastic i appreciate you so so much as always, have a blessed day. I'll talk to you guys next time.